I was thinking, you know, if Tom Cruise split from Nicole Kidman already in the past, if you're a Tom Cruise fan, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I think I used to be one when I was when I was a lot younger, but then I'm not really a big fan. Mm-hmm. No, but uh, I'm a fan of Nicole Kidman. I thought you were a fan of Nicole Asinto. Oh, also that. She's also my fan. No, I'm just kidding. She's very pretty, right? <laughs> she you? is. When she first uh, came out, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't quite like her that much. I don't know why. I think because mm-hmm. I was a teenager, and you know, when you're that age, you just think that if, if your um, movie idols aren't married, you still have a chance with them. You're talking about Nicole Asinto here, right? <laughs> Nicole Kidman. I just remember a friend right. of mine who's mm-hmm. actually in heaven now because she died when we were teenagers. Hi, Ina. She said, um. I remember when when you know we we were in high school and mm-hmm. she was like um uh oh Tom Cruise got divorced from his first wife Mimi mm-hmm. Rogers she was like yay may pag-asa pa <laughs> <laughs> and that was just so funny because of course walang pag-asa but you know then you you get that that pleas- that feeling of pleasantness it's almost like when you're you know that uh, that feeling that enters and you feel guilty about it right away when you hear mm-hmm. that someone else dies but mm-hmm. it could have been you yes, yes you know it's it's a survival instinct yes you're you're kind of happy because you survived and mm-hmm. somebody else died or you know got hurt and but of course it's no, a sense of relief no ill motives are intended no ill motives are intended but it, it's, it's mm-hmm. probably in our psyche embedded mm-hmm. in our psyche the concept of self-preservation exactly and going back to uh tom cruise and mm-hmm. uh katie holmes just to wrap that up i wasn't really surprised because it happens and this is like the third marriage and you know all these things so but some people are sad you said mm-hmm. some people you know are very sad about it well that's a partnership that's uh, right a conjugal partnership that broke up y- you but, know what's what's mm-hmm. nice though the stories of like paul newman and mm-hmm, his mm-hmm. wife um joan my god i can't remember i can't uh, believe it i can't remember her last name they they lasted until he died no well Th- Some partnerships things. last, mm-hmm. and in business the same the same yes, applies. so let's talk about that. <laughs> well, y- in the past, you know, there were th- there were discussions about a corporation versus a partnership, which mm-hmm. one is better? A sole proprietorship versus a corporation and a partnership, which one is better? Well, I I thought it maybe we we could discuss partnership, focusing on the, on that issue, so that everyone would be enlightened yes, as to what it is. Yes, just a partnership. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, uh, there are a couple of uh, people that I know. Uh, who who want to learn more about the partnership as mm-hmm. opposed to the sole proprietorship and the corporation because uh, they think it's a lot more difficult to put up a corporation right now and they want to get this business going mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you know they're obviously there's three of them working together mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so they're like should we put up a partnership that well, is, that this is, is the perfect episode for you that's right that's mm-hmm. right now this is an alternative media for doing business mm-hmm. why is it an alternative media from doing business for doing business because Normally, you, you go through the routes of a corporation. If mm-hmm. you have five incorporators, you form a corporation. Mm-hmm. Or if you're by yourself, you go to the DTI and register a sole proprietorship. That's mm-hmm. as simple as that. But if you are just two, there are just two of you or three of you, mm-hmm. not five, or perhaps there are certain relationships or agreements which you want to govern the members of the partnership regardless of the number, even five or more, mm-hmm. then this vehicle is important. So partnerships, uh, you can. So it's different from corporations in the way that you can. How is it? Do you have more flexibility in assigning the power? How the go, how the relationships are governed? Well, mm-hmm. let's go to the basic uh, okay. characteristic of a partnership. Mm-hmm. First, there's the concept of uh, delicta personarum. Okay. It's like delectable, right? I know. Delectable, delectable means you like it, right? Personality, yes. So you decide who you want to partner with. Delicta person. Narum or person. Okay. Now, you decide who you want to become your partner. So per- unlike a corporation, so yeah, you, you own a share of stock. Personarum being one person mm. and persona being more than yes. one. Okay. So, so you, you decide. You decide. Okay. So not everyone can be a partner in the partnership. Mm-hmm. So if you have two persons in a partnership and you want to add more, the other party must agree, the other partner. Mm. In the same way that if you have three persons in a partnership and one wants to back out and wants to sell his shares to you, for mm-hmm. example, you cannot just jump in the picture and say, hey, my sh- the shares of your partner has been sold to me. I am now officially your partner. It does not work that way. The partners, all partners have to agree. That's right. So meaning you have to like the person or approve of them. That's like right. Like delectable. You have to approve of them. Yes. It needs your approval. In a corporation, it's not like that. Yes, you can mm-hmm. buy and sell shares of stock. Mm-hmm. So this person, generally, generally mm-hmm. speaking, because in certain exceptions, you have a right of first refusal of the mm-hmm. corporation. For example, 
you own a share of a share of stock and it's required that you first announce your sale mm-hmm. to the stockholders before selling mm-hmm. it then that is an exception but the general rule is you can sell to anyone without notifying right. the stockholders you don't have to know the person it mm-hmm. could be your partner's mortal <laughs> That's right. So that's right. That, that, that's why uh, partnerships actually you have more control. Mm-hmm. In and that you, sense. you've heard mm-hmm. about uh, corporate takeovers. Yes, corporate takeovers. And these takeovers. things become violent, oftentimes mm-hmm. resulting in lawsuits. Mm-hmm. These do not happen in partnerships mm-hmm. because there can there can be no takeovers in partnerships. Mm-hmm. All the partners must be must be amenable to becoming a partner of the other. So did you hear that there can be no takeovers in partnerships? That's right. Mm-hmm. Because of the concept of. Delectable personality. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking as you're saying that you mentioned uh, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes earlier, and there can be no takeovers. And like, I'm thinking, wow, if only partnership laws were applied to marriage, no, and mm. other relationships. <laughs> that would be an interesting. Nobody interesting can take over thing. unless I approve. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about a three way. Yeah, uh, naughty. yeah, yeah, <laughs> naughty, very naughty. <laughs> All right. So another thing that might be interesting to everyone is. The partnership is the old, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, form of business organizations. Mm-hmm. It has been used since the time of Hammurabi, if you recall your, your world history. Yes, the Code of Hammurabi, which is actually we can trace that to the first kind of codified body of laws. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I actually saw this stone thing where it was carved on, or some of the code was carved on in mm-hmm, the Louvre that's right. in, in Paris. And it's that old. You it's know, back then, yeah. back then, if you want to form a partnership, mm-hmm. it must be for a specific purpose. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's for a limited time. But right now, there is no time limit to a partnership. So, unlike a corporation that can last for a maximum of 50 years, mm-hmm. In a corporation, of course, you can keep on renewing and renewing. After 50 years, you renew. Yes, mm-hmm. but it lapses. And you cannot say, I want this corporation to last for 100 years. You cannot do that because okay. the statutory or the legal limit mm-hmm. is 50 years. A partnership, on the other hand, will survive for as long as all the partners are alive. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. What happens if they die or one dies? Well, it's, it's the same as a partner resigning. Okay. For example, if one dies, then the partnership is abolished. Okay. But the remaining partners can continue under a new partnership or they can take in a new member provided both of them are amenable to getting okay. a new one so let, but the okay. point there is it dissolves so the new partnership that is created after the first one is dissolved through the death of one partner is different from the previous ex- pre- previously existing partnership could you use the same name perhaps you could you, you could you could but use it's that just although it's just a new entity so that's, that's right. all of you will agree that's right so okay. for example if this first partnership mm-hmm. with three partners one dies mm-hmm. and that had a previous debt mm-hmm. and you form a new one this time with four partners mm-hmm. and the creditor in the first partnership is claiming against these four, par- these four newly formed partnership partners mm-hmm. that cannot be done because for purposes okay. of the law they're different so once Interesting. It, it's, it's, it's like a corporation in the sense that it has a life of its own yeah. separate from its partners but once a partner dies the, the partnership dies with, with it mm-hmm. And now I have an idea for a book mm-hmm. that I'm going to write and I'll tell you about it later. By the way, just a little trivia before we go on a short break and return to talk more about partnerships. And please do call in and join the discussion, 897-8374-895-4460 or 895-4244. The trivia, divorce was provided for in the Code of Hammurabi. Oh, Remember interesting. That? Yeah. It's, so it's one of the oldest uh, um, things as well that's existed. The idea of marriage and separating mm. or divorcing you know maybe so we could he- hear she's... comments from that yeah any comments about that okay well anyway we'll be back after the short break stay tuned to hear more about partnerships you're with attorney Carla Nicolas and myself Nicola Sinto and you are tuned in to mind your own business on DZRJ 810 AM the voice of the Philippines 